Hello, today I want to speak briefly about putting your oxygen mask on and what that really means. So we all know that we need to do certain things to stay healthy. We know we need to eat right. We know we need to exercise. Uh, we know that it would be good to do stress reduction techniques um, to, uh, to lessen the stress load in our lives. The question really becomes, are we consistent? Do we have the skills in place and the tools to make that really happen day in and day out? Because really, ideally, if our oxygen mask is on, then every day we get up and we breathe and we move our body and we eat wholesome organic food and we meditate and we have extraordinary relationships and we're connected to community and we feel this level of bliss and this glow and this vibrancy that this life is um is not stressful and that this life is um really providing us exactly what we need and that we have this intelligence about us um, to know that this oxygen mask is the first thing that should happen before anything else before your job before we take care of other people because that's where health and wellness really resides. Um, we can certainly have a physical practice um, that we show up and we exercise every day, but we may not be so perfect in what we're eating, or we may be eating really well and not exercising. The other thing is um, valuing sleep. So maybe we sleep some good um, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, we really enjoy ourselves, and we don't have a perfect sleep schedule. So. What 10 Weeks to Love Your Body does is it helps you learn how to put your oxygen mask on. If you read one of my Facebook posts this week, I talked about when women entered the workforce in the 70s and 80s, which I grew up, um, I was born in 77. What happened was there was a whole generation of latchkey kids. And now if you're of my generation and you're raising a family or soon to be raising a family, between your spouse or your partner, there will be a division of household duties and someone will have to buy the groceries and someone will have to put meals on the table. And, you know, and within all of that, you, you're going to have to find time when a child enters the realm of how you're going to continue to keep your oxygen mask on. And then if you're like me and what I spoke of, if you have an aging parent, you may be caring for children and have an aging parent. And what happens or what tends to happen is that we slowly start to take our oxygen mask off and we start to care for our children or our aging parent, or it could even be a spouse. So I don't know what generation you're in, but you may even be in the baby boomer generation and looking at your own um, road ahead of how you're going to age gracefully and what i spoke to one of my yoga students in the classroom today i said as we age our self-care practices have to get even stronger and better and more improved and more refined because after the age of 35 we start a slow decline downhill up to the age of that 35 we hit our prime and then from there it's like this long uh, slide down to uh, one day which is really our, our deathbed so um so having your oxygen mask on first every single day upon awakening and be, be upon going to bed at night um, you will have um, a roadmap for anti-aging but you'll also have a life of vitality clarity freedom you'll be intentional you'll hit your goals you'll align yourself with your with your life so that's what 10 weeks to love your body is my one year to love your life is a very deep deep dive into how to master or self master your life on all levels and then um, we go through each season and we look at how uh, lunar rhythms, seasonal rhythms, and then even annual rhythms change. We just entered a new decade, and I'm sure you can look at the last decade and say, this is what I walked away from this decade. I was really proud of. This is the imprint that I made on life. Um, this is kind of my legacy of that decade. Or maybe you walked away from that decade and thought, you know what, there were some deeper goals or deeper desires that didn't get met in that last decade that I would like to see in the decade ahead. So in One Year to Love Your Life, we use Ayurveda as a platform for not only our health and wellness, but to really access our deeper desires. We go deep into habit evolution, how we habit stack our habits, and we do that in module one. In module two, we go into the science of Ayurveda 
We work on um, five sense therapies. We work on purification of the body. We work on the gut brain connection, the heart brain connection, the parasympathetic nervous system. We talk about bio individuality and bio in, um, energetics. So bio individuality would be like your genetic blueprint, what you came into this world with a physical body and what that looks like and how that might be different from somebody else. But then we talk about our bioenergetics, which means really how are we functioning energetically from uh, the morning hours to the afternoon hours to the evening hours? What does our particularly energy body look like? And that can be very different from, um, you know, from your friends or from your spouse or other relationships you have. We also go deep into um, relationships, our relationship to self, our relationship to others. And um, we bring in a lot of mindfulness techniques. We look at fasting protocols. We look at exercise for your body type. Uh, we go deep into the parasympathetic nervous system. We talk about the thyroid. We talk about blood sugar. Uh, it is a huge, huge uh, science of understanding the self and healing ourself, which is where the journey starts. And then we're able to heal others. And the third module, I take all this Western science and I um, pair it up with integrative health and modern research. And I bring it all up to the 21st century and what we're discovering about um, healing and age, uh, uh, age uh, disease prevention. And, um, and then we really bring everything full circle. So I close doors, um, I close doors midnight tomorrow and I only have one opportunity to do one year to love your life and that ends tomorrow and then it won't re-enroll until January 2021. So if this sounds of interest to you, you really have until up until tomorrow to decide. In 10 weeks to love your body, I will close doors on as well and we'll start our 10 week uh, process. So, um, so really like there's a short opportunity. I hope you've been following my videos. If not, um, you can certainly reach out to me. I'll be happy to take phone calls up until tomorrow um, evening to answer any questions you may have. And I hope that this was um, enjoyable for you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.